Today's show is sponsored by the White Horse Pottery. None of that's relevant. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to, well, my house. This weekend, we've had Jack with us, we've had Brett with us, we've had Tilly with us, who's asleep on the, the armchair over there. We went over to Wales, did a really long ride with some good efforts in there, but then we did a good swim this morning, a bit of tech stuff, and then a nice muddy run. So yeah, it's been good. It's good to train with your friends. I'm just gonna tell you a bit about myself, what I'm doing at the moment, the season ahead, and sort of where we are. So this is my second year as a professional triathlete, yeah, quotation marks professional. I am a professional triathlete, but being a professional triathlete can mean a whole manner of different things. For me, being a professional triathlete means that I get to race with the other professionals, I get a pro start, and it also means I've reduced my working hours, but I am still working three days a week. I feel incredibly lucky to have this arrangement, and balancing it is just part of the challenge that everyone faces, whether you're age group or, or top triathlete with kids or other pressures. I've started work at the University of Bath, I work for Modern Pentathlon in the finance team, or oh, I am the finance team. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it all sort of rests on me, but yeah, it's good. So standard training week starts in Bristol. We swim 5.30 till probably about 7.30. I then go straight to work, eat breakfast at my desk, which I think is probably a common triathlete thing. I work generally sort of nine till five or six. I managed to get a gym session in late afternoon. Tuesday's similar, I swim first thing, swim with Brett, do a very hard swim, as Monday's more of an aerobic long swim. Straight to work again, get the work done, and then I try and do like a run session, which is either track or hills in Bath straight after work. Wednesday is often now a bit more of a harder turbo. So I work from home on Wednesdays, start with a bit more of a bite either on the turbo or out on the road. I generally do like an hour's swim, more of a technique focus, and then like an easy run. Um, so it's starting to load up the volume. And then Thursday and Friday are like my big days, which I'm really enjoying. Do a big hard swim on Thursday morning. It's becoming more of a hard bike again and then track in the evening, so that's a big day, but I feel really good like nailing that and, and doing a track session on like tired legs. Friday's like a long ride, I've been sort of building up to sort of four or five hours, throw some efforts in there as we, as we were doing on Saturday this weekend, do a tech swim and sometimes do a run. Been adding in gym sessions Mondays and Fridays, which has been a great addition. One of the benefits I've found of reducing my working hours slightly is that I can just prioritize stuff in the week, so then stuff on weekends is less critical. A bit more family time also means, like, and this is where I feel like very privileged, is like if there's weddings or like birthdays or social stuff going on, I can generally, I'm not doing my key sessions on that weekend, so I can, often find I'm working Thursday afternoons or like Saturday evenings and my wife works incredibly hard. She's doing shifts all the time so if she's working a weekend then I'll make the most of like getting a decent amount of training done and also getting on top of work so that when she's off on a midweek day then I can try and move my hours around to see. So this season, as I found out last season, where I managed to face plant a post halfway through Ironman staffs and break my wrist and dislocate my elbow, like racing plans can change very quickly. Yeah. Very conscious of that, but I have mapped out a season. And the first half is a lot of 70.3s. I'm racing a middle distance triathlon in Ironapa. That will be a good 
yeah, a good early season race. And then a week after that's Challenge Chalou, 70.3. So that always attracts good competition, um, good athletes from the UK and across Europe. That'll be a good early season marker. And then I've got a whole host of challenge races, 70.3 back to back, starting with Gran Canaria in April and then moving through and culminating with Cork. Ironman Cork will be a race, probably a race, of the first half of the season. So I was hoping to do Cork last year, but that scuppered that plan. Yeah. So I then decided to do Barcelona, end of season. I hadn't done any specific training for it, just sort of racing through with like the Nice World Champs and did like Challenge Davos and a few others. It's amazing how different the half is to the full. Enjoyed it and it definitely whet my appetite for more full distance racing with hopefully a bit better preparation. Hopefully get round court, see what happens after that. <laughs> Working with a lot of the guys I worked with last year, just because they're great, great organisations, great companies, great people, and they've been really good at supporting me. I've got no reason to move on. <laughs> um, so Aero Coach has been amazing. The wheels that they provide are just like they are top of the range. They're the best in the business. They help me with wind tunnel testing, better drone testing, just getting my aerodynamics dialed soon. in. Video coming soon. Yeah, we'll get some good footage of that. Constantly like pushing the boundaries. They brought out amazing new tri-suit working with no pins and amazing new technology. I think you'll see a lot of guys racing in this season. So that's so exciting to be part of that. Precision hydration also. Their stuff I started using, yeah, certainly way before I turned professional. Their products just sort of keep me going. On race day they help me, but even even just day to day, like recovering after a session, midway through a session, especially this time of year, like on the turbo, like just keep, makes all the difference. Yeah. Zone three in the water and in the pool with their wetsuit, I'm one of the best out there and use their goggles and trunks. And I generally have to say a big thank you to BW Cycling, a cycle shop based in Bristol. They do offer bike fitting, but they've just got incredible uh, range of bikes and they help me out with just servicing and like fixing a bike and sorting it out. And they look after a number of like local athletes and they're just run by a couple of guys that really know their, know their stuff and they like to support local athletes, so. Yeah. 